Cause all smiles through all four seasons Shining, 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 yeah Shining, yeah, yeah All of this winning Hey guys, it's Jenai and I'm back today to talk about this wig, <laughs> which is the 26 inch Outre Amber wig in the color one. So this is just what I'm going to be talking to you guys today about um, how it holds up, how long I've had it and all of that. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, like I just said, this is the Outre Amber in 26 inches. I'm not sure if it comes in shorter inches because I know Outre Penny, if you know anything about Outre Penny, has a 26 inch version and then just like a shorter version, which I'm not even sure how short it is, but yeah. So I'm not sure if this comes in a shorter length. It might, but this is the 26 inch one. And this is the color one, which is jet black and yeah so i got this wig on monday and today saturday so i've had it for almost a week and this is what it looks like so if you can tell on camera it is a little bit frizzy so far but not really like it's it's barely frizzy also the looser your curls are for your wig for your synthetic wig especially the easier the the frizzier it'll get easily if that makes sense so i got this wig from sam's beauty it was 14 dollars. also i did just check because obviously this is a video about this wig so i should check but i did just check and outre amber does also come in a shorter length on sam's beauty for 12 dollars. i'm not sure what that length is but you could look at the picture and kind of get an idea like which one is for you so this wig is 26 inches like i've said for like the 17th time already in this video and it's really long i'm going to show you how long it is in the front and in the back so like if you have it all pulled to the front this is how long it is curly and then obviously if you stretch it it comes down even farther it comes down to my hips but curly it just comes down to like right below my boob and then in the back it stops like at the bottom of my waist like where my shorts start also if you think that these shorts are cute they say baldy i'll include where you could get them from but anyway yeah it comes down to right here and then if you stretch it it comes down to like right here so this wig is really long um i'm usually not really a fan of long wigs just because like they get tangled they get in the way if you put on your purse if you put on a book bag like if you put on a jacket like they just are in the way and they get tangled fast they get frizzy all of that but i think that this one is so cute it's so just like it's so like sleek like <sighs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um so these curls are just a little bit looser especially like at the top in this area like where you blend your hair with the wig it's like almost straight kind of it's like wavy instead of curly so yeah i've had it for almost a week and this is how it's holding up so far i think that it's so cute this is how i wear it for the most part i don't really like to wear my wigs like centered like split in half i usually always have it like pulled to the side and as you can see from the clip that i'm going to insert what i do is i lay my edges and then i part um, the front of my hair from ear to ear and then today i took a hot comb yes i said a hot comb and i lightly straightened it like not even a lot of heat just enough to get it you know so i did that and then i also put on a wig cap just to hold my other hair down and i put on the half wig as normal if you guys didn't know this is a half wig so that's how you're supposed to wear half wigs you part them from ear to ear and then that's how you blend it it even says it on the instructions if you've never worn a half wig i haven't had it for long so i haven't gotten a chance to wash it or anything yet so i don't know how it holds up after it washes i personally don't really like to wash my wigs because i don't i have so many wigs that i don't wear each one often enough to wash and i don't want to wash it and mess it up like if i like wash it incorrectly so i can't tell you about washing it this wig is heat resistant up to 400 degrees. I mean, maybe if you want to straighten it or loosen the curls or wand curl it to like touch up some of the curls, maybe that's a good idea. If some of the curls are getting like straight over time, maybe you could take a wand and just like touch up some of it. Um, so maybe in the future, if this wig starts to get maybe like two months old, I can try it and see how that works. Um, I can't even imagine how that would work on a synthetic wig, but. Who knows? Also, it comes in so many different colors, the obvious one, one B, two, four, and then it comes in all of these other colors. 
As far as styling the wig, normally for the most part I don't style my wigs. Like some people wear their half wigs like half up, half down or whatever. Like I said, this is how I style it. I lay my edges and then I pull, like for example, let's say... Okay, so let's say that this is how it looks when you first put it on. Some days I do like to wear it like this just for like a sleek pulled back type of like Rihanna vibes type of thing. Just like all thrown back, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously I would blend this more. Like I literally just threw my head back right now. But I would blend this more and wear it straight back all like that just behind my shoulders. But my forehead's really big so I normally don't even like to do that. So what I normally do is I take most of it from this side and I literally just pull it over to this side and then sometimes I tuck this part behind my ear depending depending sometimes I'll wear it like this in front of my ear sometimes I'll wear like both sides but yeah, also as far as blending, since my hair isn't as silky straight shiny as this, for my leave out what I do is, um, I mean I know you can see the difference but you know obviously it's right there. And then rather than just like letting it just like blend in with it, I always like pull it over to the side and then this is going to be kind of hard to explain I think <laughs> but like I pull, I push my real hair back under the um, like the weave hair <laughs> and then I take the weave hair and put it like over so you can't see the edges like the ends of my real hair because otherwise you'd be able to tell the difference between my hair and the wig so like rather than having my ends exposed I always like to pull a um piece of hair over so it's kind of just like you can't see where my hair stops because it's kind of like you know what I'm saying that's usually how I wear it. So this is how I was wearing it today, like behind my ear. This wig has two combs. It has one really long one in the front. And then in the back, it has this shorter one. And it also has adjustable straps. I um I tightened my straps just so that like my wig doesn't go flying off my head one day. Um, Like I have a fear of that happening. And then this is what the inside of the wig looks like. And then... um. Like I just said, I mean, I literally look like a sunflower right now, but literally this is how you put it on every day. You tuck the combs in, you comb your real hair, and then you just style it however you want. So that's pretty much all that I have to say about this wig so far. I just wanted to show you guys like how long it is, what it looks like, how I style it and all of that. Um, I also have a video about how to style a half wig with no leave out because I know some your hair may be a different color or you may have really short hair or anything. So I also have a video about how to style it without leave out. That's the video where I used Outre Penny. So you can kind of like see the difference in um, the uh, curls. Like the curls are just tighter for Outre Penny. But seriously though, this is a really bomb wig for $14. Like for $14, like this looks like freaking a fresh sew-in or something. Like I love synthetic wigs because they're so cheap and they look so good. Like this wig is super full. Like do you guys see this? Like this is not some wig where you could just see through it. What I do have to say though, when you first get the wig, it kind of is like that where you could kind of just see through it. So as it gets frizzier, which is like bittersweet, it, get, it, 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 it has more of a full look. You know what I'm saying? So it does get frizzy, but it gives it more of a full look. You know what I'm saying? So this wig's really full. Like if I pull this all to the front, I'll be like drowning in my hair, you know? It's really, it's really full. And yeah, so if I have anything else that I wanted to mention or forgot to mention, I'll put it in the description box or I'll comment it and pin my comment. But yeah, so this is Outre Amber. Of course, I will include the Sam's Beauty link to where you can buy it. And yeah, I hope you guys really like this wig. Also, I have pictures and stuff of it on my Instagram. Also, follow me on Snapchat. This is like the wig that I'm going to be wearing for now. I usually wear my wigs in periods. Like maybe I'll wear one for like three weeks or a month and then I'll get a new one. So this is the one that I'll be wearing for now. So you'll see a lot of pictures and videos in this wig. So follow me on all my social media so that you can see them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's get me to 10K. Ooh. And like I said, follow me on all my other social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.